What's happening to my Jacked family? Coach Scott here, JackedAfter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life Vlog. I'll be taking behind the scenes with me today, sharing every meal that I eat, footage from my training, gonna be blasting chest, abs, and calves today, and uh, gonna be talking about four huge transformation lessons that I have learned during this quarantine. Hope you enjoy the video. Woke up this morning, quarter to six, which is actually sleeping in just a little bit for me lately. I've been uh, getting up just before 5.30. I don't set alarms, so I just wake up on my own there. And that's probably been the biggest lesson I have learned throughout this uh, lockdown here and self-quarantine is that uh, I've really gotten myself into a very consistent sleep and wake pattern. So usually in bed, uh, oftentimes just before nine o'clock, lately with the sunsets, uh, shortly after nine, I've been staying up for that. Um, usually outside, just reading a book, um, just calming down, watching that sunset, and, and just winding down for the day, so I can get a great sleep at night. And I'm most of the time passed out by 9:30, and then up by 5:30. So getting a good, uh, consistent eight hours of quality sleep. And prior to this lockdown, I was waking up a lot during the middle of the night. Um, and I think just a lot of it was my, I didn't have a good bedtime routine. I wasn't, um, I, I'd have my computer on, I'd be on my phone, checking social media. Um, I'd be watching TV programs at night. So now like seven, usually seven o'clock, 7.30 at latest, all electronics are off. I'm outside reading a book, winding down, doing some self massage, stuff like that. And uh, the, the just getting that consistent quality sleep each and every uh, night has just been, it's done wonders for uh, my focus, my productivity, my just mental health, my overall well being, uh, my strength, my performance with my workouts, it's just uh, everything. When you get consistent quality sleep, everything is better so been feeling like a million bucks because of that and uh, man I guess I've been I've been preaching that for years as a coach the importance of sleep and I was always in bed at a good time I was always in bed early but uh, very disruptive sleep uh, tossing and turning all the time I think a lot of it had to do with my bedtime uh, routine so highly encourage you to get into a very consistent sleep and wake pattern whether it's weekdays weekends and and uh, you'll really, I guarantee you'll notice a difference. That's, I get so much more done during the day. I love getting up early. I never used to be a morning person, but I love getting up early and getting right to work. It's when I just, I'm, I'm energized to kind of make a difference in the world and get in touch with my clients and um, just, just get, start creating content that's gonna make a difference out there with, uh, with the people I love. And right now, I am about to love <laughs> this cup of coffee. This is my second cup of coffee uh, with just a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. And speaking of love, this furry homie right there, Chief. God, I love this guy. All right, buddy. Smash that thumbs up button for quality sleep and let me know down in the comment section below if you are in a consistent sleep-wake pattern. It's 8 o'clock, Chief, and I just got in from our morning walk. It's breezy and cool out there, which is actually pretty darn refreshing and a nice break from the 90 degree weather we've been having lately. I think we're going to hit the mid 70s today, which is going to feel fantastic. I just took 300 milligrams of ashwagandha. I'm going to be having my shake in about 15 minutes. Recommended that you take ashwagandha on an empty stomach before a meal. And ashwagandha is great for reducing stress and anxiety. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that the two most important things that I tell men over 40 to focus on whether you want to get shredded or jacked and build muscle is to get adequate sleep and manage your stress so uh, definitely something I have been focused on I've been taking ashwagandha for the past two months during lockdown and doing a lot of things to manage stress such as these walks with chief I mean walking with him is something that I have been doing for a long time but more lately during this lockdown than ever before I have been very present in the moment like no podcast no thoughts going through my head just really grounded in the moment listening to the birds a heightened sense of of awareness for all my surroundings, the sights around me, the smells around me, and it has made a world of a difference in how I manage stress. Because in the past, I go out for my walks and 
it's kind of when some of the stressful thoughts would pop into my head and I dwell on them a bit. So now I really make sure that I ground myself in the moment. Again, uh, in the evening, my evening routine is fantastic for managing my stress as well and helping me get a great sleep. So that is, so sleep and stress management are two big things that men over 40 should focus on when it comes to their body transformation uh, and there are two things that i have really improved upon it's been a really eye-opening experience because like i said i've been talking about it for years um, but really have taken taken my sleep and stress management to the next level during this lockdown and, and uh, self-quarantine here so um, big 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 lesson for me um, it was good before but when you take it to the next level man you really reap the benefit so all right 15 more minutes gonna get to that breakfast shake share it in a moment time for my breakfast smoothie which is made with one cup of homemade kefir one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk one scoop of protein powder an ass load of spinach and a banana along with this i have 5,000 ius of vitamin d3 three capsules of fish oil which have a combined 2.7 grams of epa dha 300 milligrams of magnesium and 1500 milligrams of maca on to meal number two i had some leftover pulled pork from father's day so making a pulled pork grilled cheese sandwich this is a favorite decadent dish that I absolutely love got veggies on the side here that is something that I have improved upon drastically during the uh, the past month or two is increasing my veggie consumption having veggies with each and every meal not only does it provide you with optimal fuel like loaded with micronutrients vitamins minerals it also helps us men over 40 reduce our estrogen levels and regulate our testosterone levels so highly encourage you to consume veggies with each and every meal if you haven't watched my video the previous video that i published um, the last upload uh the, the best i think it's 10 testosterone boosting foods for you to consume click that link above i'll have a link down below in the description as well heading out to meet up with my buddy and fellow fit pro joe picked us up each each a blonde Americano Misto, and uh, we're gonna go for a walk. <laughs> Got the Americano running through my veins, all warmed up from the walk. It is now time to crush some chest, abs, and calves in the Iron Paradise. Also got the salmon cooking on the smoker here for my close workout meal. Let me crop them out. They told us trust the process, we ain't stopping now. They know that it's a scene when we popping out. Came up from the third, yeah, we popping out. This I, yeah, 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 we finna lock it down. We the top boys in y'all city when we come around. Like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be skirts now. No, we not the same. What you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them break it down. I so Wendy's in your town. Don't forget the dollar sign. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them get in line. Hold it down, hold it down. Came up from the underground. Hey, tried to play me back then, but you learning now. Do not play with fire, you be burning now. It's like butter, baby. So that was a kick butt chest abs and calves workout. After that, I had a 30 minute Q&A video group chat with the Jacked After 40 Club members. Now my smoked salmon is ready. Time to dive into my post-workout meal. The biggest training lesson I learned during this quarantine has been becoming aware of the muscle imbalances and weaknesses I have in my body. Mainly it's been the right side of my body. I tend to tense up my right side when lifting uh, the right scapula. I tend to crunch it in a little bit more during upper body movements. My hips and, and even the right core, the oblique transverse abdominals, I tend to tense up while I'm lifting. So really become aware of this. And it, a lot of it is thanks to the use of the resistance bands in the early stages of this quarantine before I got the dumbbells and barbells over here at my place um, doing like single leg movements a single leg Romanian deadlift really made me realize how unstable my right leg is uh, noticing that the outer aspect of my right thigh uh, tends to do a lot of the work and the inner aspect the inner thigh is weaker so I've had to develop that strength and coordination over time and really becoming aware of opening up that right scapula when I'm doing upper body movements. So, uh, and it has made a world of a difference. I'm really looking forward to taking what I have learned from these subtle little adjustments and really enhancing my mind muscle connection. I think that's, that's the beauty of all this. I've taken that mind muscle connection to the next level. Um, 
yeah, I really can't wait to get back into the gym and apply it uh, with the other equipment, the cable machines and all that other fun stuff to play around with. But I really think it's going to help with my overall development and also reduce the risk of injuries. I tend to experience, if I get little niggles and pains and aggravations, it usually tends to be on the right side of my body. So um, I haven't been experiencing any of that during the past few months. And I think a lot of it has to do with some of these corrective exercises, corrective movements, and just the improved my muscle connection that I have experienced um, while training in this quarantine. Time for meal number three. I'm going to have two of the four fillets of salmon, two cups of veggies, 45 grams of rice. I had the salmon in a brown sugar uh, kosher salt brine for eight hours, then cooked it on the smoker at to just on the smoked setting for two and a half hours. Been doing a little client programming since eating that salmon meal. Now it's time for Chief and I to head out for a hike at Ojibwe Park. I went there last weekend with my daughter. We were hoping to see some deer then, but we didn't get to see any. So hopefully, fingers crossed, Chief and I get to see some tonight. Well, that was a successful adventure. Chief and I saw three deer and a snake crossed our path directly in front of us. Just a gorgeous trail. I think we got in about 7,000 steps throughout there. So just over an hour of hiking, just so much to see. Just the old trees, they're like, there's a section that's 200 year old black oaks and apparently there's some screech owls in there. That would be really freaking cool to see. But uh, I worked up an appetite and I'm gonna head in here and get some Greek yogurt. All right, so it is 7.30, back from our walk, and I've got 260 grams of plain Greek yogurt, uh, 140 grams of frozen mixed berries, and two tablespoons of natural almond butter in here, along with a red pepper sliced up, so veggies in every single meal today. This will be my last meal for the day. I'm gonna start winding down after this, doing a little bit of foam rolling, a little bit of reading, and we'll see if we get a good sunset tonight. It's quarter after nine, the sun has set. I'm about to pop in my meditation audio and call it a night. A little recap on the four big transformation lessons I have learned during this quarantine to take my physique, my health, my overall well-being to the next level. Number one is the importance of setting a consistent sleep-wake schedule, sticking with it day in and day out, making sure you're getting quality seven to nine hours of sleep each and every night. Great for your overall testosterone health. Number two is to do everything you can to manage your stress, whether it's through supplementation or lifestyle practices. Again, important for our testosterone health. Number three, the importance of including veggies in each and every meal. Great for your energy, overall well-being, and once again, eliminating, kind of reducing the estrogen levels in your body and regulating your testosterone levels. And number four has been really becoming aware of the weaknesses and imbalances within my physique and doing what I can to correct them uh, through corrective exercises and just a stronger mind-muscle connection. Next up, I encourage you to watch the video 12 steps to a beach body hope you enjoy this video smash that thumbs up button if you did and i will catch you in the next video